hi guys in this video we are going to go over snike this is something that has the potential of making your uh, node.js projects highly highly secure uh, almost 10x secure um, and uh, so I didn't I didn't have a lot of trust in this product when I first saw it but when I started using it uh, you can uh, you have my word this is going to completely change the way that you work it's going to make your product very very secure and uh, it's going to check for vulnerabilities it's going to check for uh, any type of security threats and issues and even uh, for deprecated npm packages and libraries and uh, so this is their website snike.io and uh, I'll as you can see MongoDB, Skyscanner, MasterCard, Salesforce, all of these guys use it. I didn't know about this product uh, until very recently and when I started using it in all of, uh, almost all of my projects now, uh, it is just uh, a breeze to use and it does a lot of work that we used to do manually. Um, so I, I'm not sure how they do it though. Uh, so when you go to the pricing part, <clears throat> now there are many uh, different packages that they have you need to use the free package uh, obviously uh, and it has uh, a lot of functionality and it's uh, you can use it on unlimited uh, projects open source projects so uh, this is the one that you need to be using the, the free one and as you if you're a very big company then obviously you can go for these bigger ones as well and you get much more functionality out there but uh, I think this is uh, uh, more than enough so go ahead and make a uh, make a uh, make an account on this uh, on snike and uh, uh, quick start is, is how you do it this is their version of the sign up and it's very simple uh, I, I uh, authorized my github account uh, to connect with, uh, with snike and once you um, just a second I don't know what this is yes so once you are logged in uh, you see a dashboard and uh, and these are some commands that I'll go over you don't have to go go through them uh, in the beginning and uh, I'll just take you through this entire software and entire uh, uh, you know web app so they have this dashboard where you start can start adding your projects they have a report section once you have attached uh, uh, your uh, projects or products here um, it'll be able to start showing your reports then you have all the projects that are imported into snike then here are some integrations uh, with integrations you can easily connect your github and gitlab accounts uh, with snike so that uh, you can keep monitoring uh, all of your projects uh, from from gitlab um, so for example uh, once i clicked on integrations i can click on gitlab and um, here are all of my projects on, on my gitlab account i connected it um, it's a very very easy connection you don't have to worry about it uh, uh, there's a gitlab authentication that uh, the a code that you have to uh, connect here and then it'll it'll start pulling all your projects from uh, from gitlab and you can simply click on any of these and you can just add the selected repository okay i won't do it now i'll show you how to uh, use snike on a um, on local project because if you have the project on your local you can easily transfer it to GitLab, GitLab or GitHub you can easily transfer that to a remote server as well so uh, Snyke can basically uh, protect everything right from your local projects to projects on GitLab, GitHub and to projects on your production server uh, as well uh, this is an important page it has all the general settings and it has your organization id your your name all of that and uh, you can add more members and everything uh, i don't think you need to though and uh, this is the most important page the general settings this is where you go and uh, this is it'll take you to your account page your account page has your api token which is this okay this is something that you need you copy it and uh, now let me take you uh, into my project um, it's in my development so it could be any remote project uh, or any local project on your uh, local machine okay so I'm going to my product called remote teams I'm inside remote teams now uh, the first thing that I need to do is install snike uh, globally in my uh, so I'm going to keep the commands here. I'm going to post all these commands in the description box uh, so you can get access to them. And uh, this is how you uh, uh, install it. Minus G, Snike. Uh, minus G will install it globally. And I'm sure uh, if you're using Snike, uh, you are a Node.js developer and you all are already familiar with NPM, right? So we're going to install the NPM for Snike. My admin password and it's going to take a while to uh, install it's 
taking a little too long. It's a, it's a big package. It has, I think, around 300 dependencies. All right, so uh, just to be sure, I'm also going to install it uh, in this project itself. So this is my project, right? And so uh, remember to include sudo because sometimes, um, uh, uh, at least in my case, uh, what was happening was Ubuntu was not giving access to Snyke for some reason. So here's uh, Snyke. I'm adding Snyke to my project, which is Remote Teams. All right. It's going to take uh, again same amount of time. Now I'm going to show you. This is the package.json file, and I have Snyke as you can see 1.3.4.8, all right, 1.348.1, 1. 1. whatever. And so I have Snyke on my laptop, on my in my project, uh, actually. Uh, now what you have to do is Snyke auth. Now, uh, now on, on, on their website, uh, if you go to the dashboard, uh, you'll see that uh, they've written Snyke auth. So I kept doing, I kept uh, running that command for a very long time and uh, you know, uh, and this page would open and I would click on authenticate. And then, uh, and then if I had to run the next command, right, which is I think Snyke test, this wasn't working. All right, Snyke test wasn't working uh, in my case. The reason for that is that uh, you have to, uh, along with Snyke auth, you have you have to add your uh, authentication token, which, uh, like I said, is in the general settings. So you come here, you click to show, you copy this, and you paste it with the auth. If you have, a, if you don't do this, uh, it's it's not going to work for you since I had already done it uh, today. So it's this was working for me. So you auth. Uh, put your authentication token here your account has this is what this is the notification that you want it's now ready to be used then you use snyke test all right it's going to analyze every single npm dependency in this project and it's going to analyze them very fast all right so i'll have to it's saying i have to run a uh, snyke wizard to address these issues uh, but uh, in the in the morning when I actually ran it for the first time, there were many more issues, and I have solved all of them, almost all of them. And Snyke Wizard, let me run that. Yes, it's going to analyze the dependencies and fix the vulnerabilities. Okay. So yeah, so it's give, going to give me the, these options, right? So I can either patch the vulnerability, I can review the issues separately, or I can set to ignore them, or I can skip them, okay? Or I can just upgrade. So, but it's saying that there's no sufficient upgrade available, so I'm just going to patch them. It's going to show me all of them one by one. So if, if you can see it's, there's no patch available but for the ones that for the for the ones which the patch is available for is going to patch all of them it's going to fix all of those vulnerabilities in my system so yeah so as you can see i i ran snike auth then i ran snike test and i ran the snike wizard to patch uh, all of the problems now you have to run snike protect Let's see what I'm, I'm not sure what product does I forgot so I'm going to go over here to the official npm js package library for snike all right so let's see what's what protect does yeah snike protect your code from vulnerabilities by applying patches I think that's very similar to wizard very similar to wizard actually successfully applied snipe patches so snipe protect is in place uh, now the last command I think I had another command it was uh, snipe monitor yeah snipe monitor what does snipe monitor do yeah so it alerts you when uh, whenever you're trying to add any uh, vulnerable packages okay snipe monitor 
is going to prevent new vulnerable dependencies from being added. Okay, so that's what Snipe does. Anyhow, so once once you're done, uh, you can be pretty uh, pretty sure that uh, you know Snipe has taken care of almost everything in your project, and your project is much much uh, more secure now. And uh, let me take you back here and show you all these integrations so it has uh, integration even with the google cloud with github with gitlab with bitbucket with github uh, enterprise server okay, even with docker hub right so like i said you know it can you can easily click on any of these projects and you can bring them uh, into into snike it will start watching all of these projects for you right for example, here's a project that I'm watching for myself and it's creating all these reports for me. So there's a medium amount of vulnerabilities here. And uh, this is this is uh, basically it, right? So I hope this video was helpful to you. You can leave some comments if you want me to cover anything else, if you want to discuss anything or, or if you have any other way that you use Snyke uh, uh, you know, it, it, maybe there's there's something new that you found in Snake that probably I haven't covered in this video. So let me know. Thank you.